Hi guys, you're back with Fluke and today we're back on the topic of backups. So as per previous video we did, we set up a Google Drive on backups. Now we're going to do it on Dropbox. And just to get back to my original point on the previous video, bringing it back into your, you know, backups, you don't need to be a corporate environment. An end user can do a backup. There's many free apps out there and Dropbox being one of them. So if you want to, I'll, I'll put a link down at the bottom, you know, go have a look at my Google Drive one. This one's going to be exactly the same, just a different piece of software. There's slight differences in the two. I'm, I'm not a big Dropbox, Dropbox, listen to me, Dropbox guy. I haven't used it a lot, but I, a lot of people share with me. So I have to set up an account or go and download the files, etc, etc. For this, I'm going to set up a demo Dropbox account. We're going to quickly do the sign up, we're going to install the software, see how the sync works. So a lot of this stuff I'm going to do with you for the first time. And let's see how easy it is. Let's go. So firstly, go to Dropbox.com. There you can see there's a sign up page. I'm going to go and sign up with a Google account. Takes me to the account. Let's have a look. It picks up my demo account already in there. This will allow Dropbox to see and download your contacts. That's fine. I don't have any in there. The demo account we're doing this signing up there you see fox Road uniform i agree and sign up Verification, please solve the puzzle so we know you're a real person. Sure, let's verify. Touch the arrow and roll the ball. I presume this needs to be straight up. Done. Quite interesting. Same thing. Done. Okay, beautiful. Done. Wow, completely upside down there. Oopsie. Done. This is a new way of verifying the person. Good job, 36 seconds. Yo, I think I'm gonna make that again. Try out the best of Dropbox free. Get 2000 gigabyte of storage and premium feature with Dropbox Plus. So then I'm just going to say uh, try Dropbox business for free or continue on the 2 gigabyte Dropbox basic plan. So this year is what we're looking at. We're looking for a free backup system for, for the people sitting at home, um, not a corporate environment. So we're going to click on this one here. We aren't a business, definitely not. And we're going to click download Dropbox. So it takes me straight to where we can download it. Beautiful. Okay, so EXE, let's click on that. It should pop up with a user authentication control. Ah, user access control, perfect. So, yes. Dropbox install installer is initializing, please wait. So I think this takes the similar to all of the other software. It downloads it, then it installs it. So depending on your internet speed or your computer speed, you know, it, it can take a few seconds or a few minutes. Um, in my in my case, if it if it takes too long, I'll just speed up the video for you guys. There we go, the explorer restarted, meaning there is some type of change, some type of change that just happened. So I'm sure if I click on the little explorer icon, we should see something like a drop box or something, yeah. So not so, let's have a look here. Install the mobile app uh, or email me the link. Uh, no, I'm not looking, I'm not interested in installing the app at this stage, I'm just going to close that. Let's click on the icon and see see what happens. Okay, searching Dropbox. 
starting okay set up dropbox so let's click next okay and it closes on me uh, what's happening now starting choose how to sync your files make files local use the space on your hard drive to download dropbox files and access them offline or make files online only get dropbox plus to access the files on your desktop while saving hard drive space so we're going to choose local files because that is basically what we're going to use it for we're going to drop our, our files in our important files and make sure there's some type of backup out there for it so let's going to choose that one and we're going to go continue with basic back up your pc definitely i want to back up my desktop my documents downloads um people that are, that's a discussion you need to make a decision on depending on what is in your downloads I'm, I'm a very organized person so i i don't even really drop stuff on my desktop um i don't even drop it on my documents i've got a folder where i put everything in and, and that is where i would back up my stuff from um, the documents would be your default stuff that any app would drop in there. I'm not worried about anything like that. So let's go and click next. See if it gives me an option to back up something else. Start your free trial to continue. I'm just going to continue with basic. Yo, they're really on me about this uh, paying for the stuff. Drop off basic. Stop syncing your files after you exceed your space limit. Makes sense. So yes, continue. You might see stuff moved around, but everything will end up where it started. This is very interesting. Set up, set up. And quit and reopen Google Chrome. Okay, sure. So let's quit Google Chrome. Click next. Nice. Your first backup is starting. And I want to click go to Dropbox. There we go. So get start, get start and my pc that is terrible i didn't name my pc correctly okay so there you can see how easy it is to set up dropbox i really do want to see if i can back up my own folder location so let's quickly see here uh, personal get more space pause view sync issues i presume preferences let's go into preferences this all seems stock standard standard backups automatically back up desktop documents and more so let's click here manage backups and click on how backup works opens a looks like a chrome page i am not seeing any space where i can specify specify what i want to back up and I'm just quickly gonna go to play device. Let's just quickly see here on the help. So just quickly reading through there. I'm not seeing any other location. So it gives me computer backups that's great that has been set up so it, it looks like it's only backing up standard standard directories no no additional directories so something like somebody like me that uses a, another file system for your free version um, unfortunately this this is not what I'll be looking for but maybe I mean if, if you're a, a type of person that saves it in your documents on your desktop and downloads then this this should work perfectly for you um again anything being backed up to the cloud is better than nothing um if your machine breaks down anything that was in your dropbox will be there anything that you you put in there that is on a on a, on a, on a external hard drive will be in the cloud this is only two gigs unfortunately and what I what I would say is don't back up unnecessary stuff. And I've seen so many people do that, trying to back up games, trying to back up photos of 
birds that they've taken, trying to back up music, only back up critical documents. And especially with the amount of space you've got on here, make sure it's documents that you will need going forward. Um, yeah, so, so that's that for uh, the Dropbox account. Um, if you've got any questions, send it through to me. Obviously, this is the basic account. I can't comment on the Plus account. They might have different features. This is just for the people that, you know, let's let's get something out there and let's get it out there for free. So that's Dropbox for you. So yeah, if you like it, click the like button. If you want to share it, you know, share it out there. Maybe there's a friend that uses Dropbox and they, they can give us more insight on this. But I mean, any anything that can help anybody else, you know, share it so that they can see if this is worthwhile for them. And then subscribe to my channel. Um, if there's questions that you've got, something I can help with, send me a link. I've got a YouTube channel, a Facebook channel, a blog. Go to any one of them, the three. You can find the descriptions in below or on the about page where to find me. And I will try and assist you where I can.